Hi, my name is Aleko. I'm the owner of Galonero, a bar restaurant. It's a, it's a family restaurant. We have a huge menu. We sell a lot of pasta dishes. We have a chicken parm, chicken city broccoli. The first thing we're have is a pizza. You want to see how I make the pizza? The pizza we make here is uh, Italian style. We try to prepare everything. We make the heavy cream here. We make the marinara sauce every morning. Uh, we're going to show how to make a, a fusilli alla vodka, which is very famous here. So we put a chicken, bacon, this cook for two, three minutes. So we take the vodka, put a little bit of marinara, and the heavy cream. The fusilli is almost done. Yeah. Come on down in Gallinero Pizzeria, you're going to love it, a food you can enjoy. Thank you. Boosters Hospital at PBD Veterans Moore High School, where the PBD High School boys take on Medway, and uh, it's going to be quite a ball game, uh, Thad. You need one more victory, and uh, we're going to get you there. Yeah, I hope tonight is the one, uh, number 10, magic number 10, that gets us in. We just got to come out and play hard. We went to their place earlier in the year, and uh, we had a tough loss. Close game, back and forth, and then at the end they pulled away. So hopefully tonight it'll be a different outcome. It was about six points, so uh, home home court advantage. It might be worth six points here. Yeah, hopefully some home cooking tonight will uh, will do us good. And you know the kids are pumped up. They know the ramifications of tonight's game. So hopefully we can get this one. Now I noticed uh, we didn't even have his name down. Number ten. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris Canella uh, had a great game. Last game, he had 10 points, hit three uh, three pointers, came up with some big key buckets for us at big times in the third quarter when we needed him to. So he's a freshman, and um, he's went back and forth between varsity and JV all year, and right now he's he's fulfilling a, a nice role for us. Right, and talking about the threes, he got three quick threes, nine points in uh, probably two minutes. Yeah, we needed that. We were struggling a little bit offensively, and uh, he kind of lit that spark for us. And once he once he hit those threes, it kind of gave us a little bit of a cushion against Fenwick. Now, this is a real tall team, so do you think you'll use a, a more of a press tonight? Yeah, we might go with a little pressure tonight. They are. They're big. They are one of the biggest teams we've faced all year. A uh, couple six-foot-five kids. But that's going to be, honestly, a challenge for our guys down low. And it's a nice challenge because... We're going to see where we stack up. We're going to see if we can rebound. We're going to see if we can defend the post. And that's a, a big concern for us going into this game. Right. Uh, blocking up the middle is going to be uh, half the battle. But uh, I also like your outside shooting. Absolutely. Um, you know, if, if they go zone against us, one of the things you have to do is be able to knock down some shots. So hopefully tonight, you know, with the familiar hoops and the home crowd, we're able to hit a couple shots and, uh, you know, pull out a victory. Okay, well, uh, if there's nothing else, we wish you the best of luck tonight, and we have to keep that streak going, Chad. Hey, another interview. Hopefully it's another win. I okay. appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks. Once again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Moose Osmo with us tonight is our play-by-play -play analysis, Jeff Schmaze. And, Jeff, uh, I want to thank you for joining us and helping us out, especially helping me out. Uh, and to bring this game tonight, which should be a real good ball game. Well, th thanks for having me, Lou. I, I know I'm replacing Joel, which is not that difficult, but uh, we're, this is a big game for Peabody tonight. Uh, sure. They need to win to get into the state tournament. I mean, they have a couple games after tonight, but tonight is the one that they think they can get. Uh, they played Medway earlier this year, lost 44-38 down there. Uh, on the way down there, there was a, a, an accident, so they, they were stuck in traffic for an hour, and I think, don't think that helped. But uh, they're coming off the big victory over Fenwick, and uh, again, they need they need tonight's game to uh, secure the tournament, which would be the second straight year if they make it. And this is a large team, though. They're six six. They have two fellows in the six six, two in the six four. Yes, uh, they're it, gonna be a tall Medway, team. This Medway team, uh, don't know much about them, but they're thirteen and five. They're well coached, uh, and I know they like to press. So. Uh, this is going to be a challenge for Peabody, but I, I think they, they, they'll be up for it. Okay, and uh, anything special going on that we should know about in the city of Peabody? Well, uh, I, not not that I'm aware of. Uh, I know, I think on Thursday there's going to be a, a Peabody downtown action team is going to present uh, their findings to the city council. What they do with it, I don't know, but I think it's more of a report of progress. It's all part of the downtown revitalization program. So I know they've been working hard over the past couple of years, and we'll see what they have uh, in store. Okay, and... Uh, once again, uh, we're just about ready for the uh, starting lineup, but it's really nice to have you here, uh, Jeff, and uh, we'll see where we go from here, and maybe we're into the tournament, we hope. Well, hope, hope, 
tonight's got to be the night. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident, but uh, it, it's like got 32 minutes to find out who, if that's going to happen. Well, you know, we've done uh, five games, and the Tanners have won all five. So Chad wrote, make sure that he gets an interview. Right. And he, he did say in the interview tonight that this was a huge game, and uh, home court advantage might make the difference. Uh, well, we'll see. I know it's, when you come here, it's difficult to play this. You know, the floor is a little slippery here. You know, the shooting background isn't great. It's a little dark in here, so I think it does give a little bit of an edge to PB. Okay. I'd like to thank Stefan for joining us also uh, tonight to doing the camera work, and he's one of the better camera persons we have. Okay. Good time to mention our sponsor, Gallinero Pizzeria, 89 Main Street, PBD Mass, right across the Knights of Columbus. I don't know if you've been in there, Jeff, but it's a great place. They've done it all over. It's a nice place to enjoy a good meal. I, ha I haven't been there in a while, but I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's good for downtown. Medway's being introduced now. Now for your PBD channel. Chris Canella, freshman, starting a second straight game at 10 points in the last game against Fenway. Junior Estrella is also starting. He's been starting all year as their leading scorer. Moise Azari is at center. He had 18 points and 20 rebounds in the last game. John Lawrence, senior captain, is a guard, starting. As is Matt D'Amato, who is a three-year starter. Jake Doherty's on the bench to start tonight. He's been starting most of the year. Now our national anthem. Another great job. I don't know if Stefan got there because she was behind the bench. Normally they come out, we make them come out front in front of the bench, but uh, they didn't direct her the right way tonight. See how this height uh, matches up with the PVD Tanners. But uh, Estrella and Israel, uh, they had they should get up high. They can really they, jump. They can leap. There's no doubt.
Here's Ari, he's going to take the opening tap. Against Liam Regan. And Peabody wins the tap, and Jonathan Lawrence is going to bring the ball up. Medway is in a man to man to start. Back to Lawrence up top. Over to D'Amato, being co covered tightly. D'Amato's driving, and there's a foul. First foul in the ball game. And with the big guys, I think that's a good uh, thing to uh, you drive to the basket. Um, it's on the floor. Lawrence, Lawrence to inbound it. To D'Amato on the baseline, back out to Estrell up top. He's going to take him here, Lou. He drives and scores. 2 0 PB. Lou, anytime a team plays man to man against PB, Estrella's going to take him. At some point, they're going to have to go zone against him, I think. Medway has the ball up at the top of the key over the sideline. Back to Sean Pettinger. Medway's moving the ball outside. Oop. There's a travel, PB ball. Good, good defense by the Tannis. Good, 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 good trap down low. Medway's pressing, and that's one that they're known for that. Liam Reagan's probably providing the coverage on Lawrence. Lawrence over to Canell in the corner. Three pointer is a little bit long. And it's Medway ball. Two well, nothing, well, two nothing PBD, 659 left in the quarter. The last game he got the three threes right away. Those were big in the third quarter. It gave them a little separation when they needed it. Jake Warren bringing the ball up. Over to Pat Travers, back to Rig. Medway's moving the ball on the outside. Oh, Rosari had his hand on it, but Medway got it. 10 seconds on the shot clock. And that's another turnover for Medway. Takes both teams a little bit of time to warm up yep. and get the feelings, especially Medway getting the feelings for the court. Canella's in a tough spot there. You don't want to be trapped there, right, right above uh, the, uh, the half-court line. Lawrence has the ball up top. India Rosari, that's where he likes it. Let's see if he can make it work. Oh, a little bit long. Yvonne Medway, Liam Reagan. Into the corner, number two for a three-pointer, short. Rosari's got the ball, and he's, Estrella's got it, excuse me. Estrella's going to drive. He got contested, misses a shot. Rebound Medway. Almost a foul that time, yep. Jeff. Sean Pettinger with the rebound. Still 2 0 Peabody, six minutes left in the quarter. Oh, somebody got, left them wide open, but it's an air ball. And Medway gets the loose ball. 15 with a shot, it's a little bit long. Estrella's got it. Oh, he lost it. Another turnover. He, he was tripped from behind. And a foul on Lawrence, we believe. And Pat Travers is going to go to the line for two to try to get Medway on the board. It's, they have yet to score. Quarter's going by pretty quick. Uh, Travers Jeff, misses the two first points one. Scored. Three minutes played almost, and uh, only two points scored. Yep. Both, both teams just trying to work out the cobwebs right now. And the second one is short. He misses them both. Medway still off, still not scored. Estrella's bringing the ball to half court. Hands it off to Lawrence. Peavy's calling a play. They're trying to get D'Amato open, but he's been covered. Canella's driving. Nice baseline drive. It's 4 0. Levin's got it down low, it's blocked, it's a jump ball. Possession will stay with Medway. Good defense by the Tanners. Yes, no foul there, which was good. 4.58 left in the quarter, four to nothing, PBD leads. I'm surprised the shot clock went to 30 on that, and maybe it's a held ball goes back to uh, 30 seconds. Nick Assad is coming in for Pat Travers for Medway. You're right there, the shot clock's now 15. 15, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> They corrected that pretty quick. Yep. They must have heard you, Jeff. 
Assad going to go inside. It's a turnover. Irizarry's got it. Gets it off to Lawrence. Four down low. They're trying to get D'Amato open. He got him around a screen for a three on its way. It's a little bit long. What good if you leave it here? He did. Just a little bit long. Right on line, though. Assad, long distance, good for three. And Medway's on the board with 427 left. They're down 4 3. Mono dribbling. Oh, he turns it over. Ten drives and misses, and it's will stay here. Good pressure on the, from the PBD defense. Four eleven left in the quarter. Oh, that's a set play, and PBD was ready for it. Medway moving the ball on the perimeter, looking inside, but there's nothing there. Twelve it takes a three. It's no good. Estrella with a rebound. He's got to be careful. He's dribbled in traffic twice now and lost it twice. And Assad scores again. He's got all five Medway points, and Medway is five in a row. They're up 5 4. 346 left in the quarter. He's been a little careless with the ball so far. That was close, too. Marsh drives, pulls up, and a little bit long. Canelo gets the offensive rebound and scores. <laughs> Canelo's got four of the, of the Tanner's six. They're ahead 6-5. Ten drives blocked by Irizarry out of bounds. 317 left in the quarter. Kenny Condon is coming in for Medway, replacing Jake Warren. Moving the ball on the perimeter again. Condon with a three, misses. PB's got the ball, but they're trapped there. They probably need to time up away with it. Irizarry, oh, you've got to be careful here. Over to Lawrence. The freshman looks ready at home right now. He's uh, played a good game last game. He's, he's off to a pretty good start here. He's pretty calm. Irizarry from 14 feet is a little bit long. PB's just a little bit off of the shots tonight. 11 drives and loose ball, Rosari's got it. He's gotta be careful, he's dribbling through a lot of traffic. And it's an offensive foul on Rosari. He was a little out of control there. So the Tanners have two fouls. And Jake Doherty's gonna check in. One. Sorry, Let's see who he's coming in for. He's coming in for Chris Canelo, the freshman. Medway with a looking to take the lead here. There's about two minutes and change to go in the quarter. 15 uh, hits. Uh, it's Liam Reagan, and, and Medway goes up 7 6. Estrella drives, pops, misses. Gets his rebound, misses again. Gets his rebound again, misses again. And he shoots again and fits. Three times. Estrella on his fourth attempt puts PBD up 8 7. Double, double team on, uh, oh, it looks like an offensive foul, but they're not calling anything. Now they're calling it on Irizarry, I think. He's not happy with it. So that was on the floor, it'll be the third team foul for the yeah. Tanners. So they're not in foul trouble, Lou, but it's, it's, it's a tight game here. Jake Warren's back in the game, replacing Sean Pettingy. Who oh, almost a turnover. It's going, to stay, it's going to stay with Medway. Nice move by Jake Doherty. Yes, got a hand on that ball. Eight to seven, PBD leads by one. Medway with the ball. <laughs> P 
Medway misses, the ball, loose ball. Estrella tries to throw it off Medway and does. So there's only one little pressure left. here by Medway, a little press. No, no, someone's got to come to the ball. Estrella does. Double team around the back, over to over to Doherty, who dribbles it off his foot, but saves it to Estrella. Back to D'Amato up top. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Looking inside, he gets it to Moise, but it's deflected. It's got to be. Jump ball, be Peavy's ball. Peavy's ball with 11 seconds left. Peavy's being a little careless with the ball, Lou. They got to take better care of it. A little too much dribbling right now. Barnes has the ball. It's dribbling. Wow. Over to Berizari. Pulls up from the elbow, a little bit long. Looks like a stroller got fouled, but they didn't right. call it. Anyway, breaks it over half court. Three in the corner, his shot is good. That's Assad again, he's got eight of their 10 points. Medway's up by two with 38 seconds left. And it looks like D'Amato dribbled well, it yeah, off his Yeah, D'Amato kicked the ball oh, out of the A lot of turnovers. Mm. Jake Gustin's gonna come into the game. And Christian Tien's coming into the game, replacing D'Amato and Lawrence. So with 34 seconds left, uh, Medway has the ball, they can build the lead up to four points. Four or five with a three. Medway moving the ball on the perimeter. Oh, fakes a three. Oh, almost a steal by team, but not quite. There's Assad, who's got a lot of their points. That looks a little short. Oh, and tien has got the loose ball. 15 seconds left in the quarter. Let's see what happens. Behind him. Oh. Darties. Oh, and that. Jump ball. Possession to Medway. All no, ball. Another turnover. Six seconds left. Six seconds. Medway pulls up and it's long. Rebound is good at the at the quarter. Number 33. So at the Andrew end of the first Tierney. quarter. Medway 12, PBD 8, and uh, PBD uh, had too many turnovers for that first quarter. So there was only eight points scored in that quarter, and uh, Estrella had eight, and Janellas had four. Really a low scoring first quarter. 12 to 8. Medway leads. <clears throat> and PBD will have the ball. Tan will bring the ball in to Gustin. Driving right to the basket. And they lose it on the rebound. He gets the rebound all the way back and he gets his own rebound. Taken away by Tan. Puts it away. Jake Darby on a nice turnaround.
Estrella drives to the basket and gets taken away from him. <laughs> Number 33, Terraman gets two points. And the Tandas quickly take a timeout with the score of Medway 16, PBD 10. Tiernan with four points for uh, Medway and Assad with eight to lead Medway. How about Peabody? Who's uh, scoring for Peabody, Lou? Uh, only two points in this quarter. Okay. And they got uh, Jake Jari, but uh, Estrella got two. Baskets in the first quarter. Only four points in the first quarter. What's his name? Oh, I'm sorry. Freshman. Uh, Chris Canella? Yeah. yeah. Chris Canella with, uh, I believe that's four. Right. Canella is back in the game for Peabody. It's another press for Medway. They're known for this, so let's see if they can break it. Well, Lawrence is double teamed in the corner. It looks like he traveled, but he got away with it. And there's another steal, but uh, Medway kicked it out of bounds. Peavy's still being very careless with the basketball. Right, and for their size, Medway is a lot faster than they look. Tomato to inbound. That was almost another turnover. Lawrence drives, and a little bit longer than that. Now we're bringing the ball over half court. There's a travel. A travel. Uh, <laughs> travel on Pettinger. Damato thought he had a foul call against him. He right. was all bent out of shape there. Estrella is, is coming back in the game for Doherty, who is uh, <laughs> heading back to the bench. Doherty, Doherty got hit in the face, and that's why he's had to step out. Oh, okay. Out. Yeah, it's got to look a little blood there. Estrella got the inbound. Up ahead to Canella. Again, on, uh, almost another near steal. PB is putting the ball on the floor much too much tonight, and it's all kinds of turnovers. Ten drives and misses it, but 12 cleans up the mess. Sean Pettinger, and Menway has got an eight point lead. Lou, it's getting away from them. Right. Six minutes left. Too in the many court. turnovers. Way too many, and too much dribbling. D'Amato's got it from Canella back in the middle. Oh, and another turnover. Oh, and it's a blocking foul on Canella. Let's see if it's two shots or not. It shouldn't have been a shooting foul. And they're calling it a shooting foul. Right. The Liam Reagan at the line for two. Chance to make it a 10 point game. First shot is missed. Medway's 0 for 3 from the line so far. Number 11 back into the game, 6 foot 6, Colin Johnston. Reagan is 6 for himself. Shoots a second one. That's also no good, but Medway gets the rebound. Medway's 0 for 4 from the line. Else it could be worse. Oh, Estrella. Grabs it. They have to take their time now. He set up yep. a good play. D'Amato pulls up, and he misses. Rebound to Pat Travers. Medway moving the ball. Back to Warren. Warren up top. To Reagan. In the corner. Travis drives, the shot is blocked. Estrella has it. Slows it down. Lawrence for three. That's long. Again, Peavy's not shot the ball no. well either, Lou. Oh, turnover by Medway. 
Memory's got quick hands tonight. I don't know. I mean, the PB's just a little. Canelo for three looks off, and it is. In and out. Yep. N just not not falling tonight. Nachochi with a rebound. Pat Travers has got the ball, and they're just working it outside against the zone. 14 seconds left in the shot clock. Oh, Medway misses, but they get another offensive rebound. That's not also hurting them tonight as well, Lou. And Rosari grabs the rebound. 18-10 with about four minutes left in the, in the quarter. D'Amato pulls up, he gets fouled. Twice now, Donato has come down top of the key and stopped and popped, and they won't go. No. I think this is the first free throw attempt of the night for Peabody. Right. Um, Medway's taken four, but hasn't made any of them. So let's see if uh, D'Amato can make one here. He does. I, against Fenwick, uh, Peabody was 12 for 15 on the that, foul line. That helps. D'Amato makes them both, it's 18-12. Six point ball game, four minutes left. Looks like PB looks like they're in a 1-3-1 almost. Medway moving the ball on the perimeter, looking inside, nothing there. Travers has it up top, deflection, but Medway gets it. Inside, oh, good steal, almost a steal by Canelo, but, oh, and another offensive rebound. The height gets underneath the yeah. um, Mac Natochi for two. It's 20 to 12. Moise at the elbow, driving. Fakes one way, goes the other way, and misses. It's All one of those nights, nice One of those nights. Anyway, moving the ball on the perimeter. Travers. Back to Assad, who's had a good half. Over to Renee, back to Assad from deep. No good. Peabody finally corrals the rebound. Lawrence has it. 256 left in the quarter. D'Amato pulls up from three and in and out. In and out, no luck there. Irizarry trying to go up. No luck there and, and, a, and a, probably a frustration foul. He's upset. Peabody down eight. That's his second foul. All the Tanners need is a couple of baskets to get back yep. in the ball game, but they keep turning it over and missing their shots. Reagan back in, replacing Vlad Rene for Medway. Travers from three, open, but misses badly. Lawrence gets the rebound. Brings it over half court, over to D'Amato, shoots quickly from three, misses again. Sean Pettinger with a rebound. Medway, pull up from 10 feet, no good. Urzari gets the rebound, over to D'Amato. D'Amato drives, over to Lawrence. Lawrence, oh, the ball looked deflected, and whose ball is it? It's like Medway on another turnover. Midway with some more substitutions. With 2-10 left, Midway trying to pull away from the Tanners right now. 20-12, to 12, they lead, and they have the ball. Warren up top, over to Assad. Oh, they look inside, but stolen by Lawrence. PB could use a hoop here. It's a, a foul on the drive. PB, it'll be PB balls out of bounds. Peabody with only four points in this quarter so far, Lou. It's not going to get it done. Azari misses. And and Medway took advantage, but oh, but they missed the layup. Stepped on the line, Peabody's that, ball. That was a break. They got they got beat down the floor. Broton's obviously uh, frustrated over there. Lawrence with the ball. 
He's calling a play out. Let's see if this uh, works. D'Amato on the wing. Over to Canell up top. Nothing there. Lawrence. D'Amato from deep. That's an air ball. Canella saves it. The shot clock is only seven seconds left. Estrella forces it, but gets fouled. Get fouled. He'd be going the line. First time for him to go to the line. He'd be with four points in this quarter also. Estrella at the line for two. First one is a miss. Medway with a lot of substitutions. It looks like uh, Mike Natachi is going to check back in the game as soon as he's able. Christian Tien is now in the game for PB, replacing Matt D'Amato. That's short. He misses them both, wow. but Doherty hustles Better get the hit. rebound. It's blocked. He's going up again. No, he decides to go back out to Tian over to Lawrence back to Tian. Tian's driving. Off the rim, no good. Rebound Medway. Timeout Medway with 106 left, and they're up eight, 20 to 12 in a very low scoring game. Boy, 12 points in the half, that's uh, unbelievable. Not gonna do it, is it? No. So while we have this short break, don't forget to visit Gallinero Pizzeria, 89 Main Street, PBD Mass. And just go down here and enjoy their fine food. They have great chefs in there, and they do a good job. Not only on the pizza, but all the food they have, and they have a great menu. So PBD is really cold in this whole half, Jeff. Uh, I don't know uh, if the break in the half will maybe turn them around a little bit. I said, you know, that and the turnovers, uh, it's a bad combination. Too much dribbling. I, that's what I think. Yeah. It's like PBD's putting on a little pressure here. Let's see, De Strella, this looks like a one, two, one, one. Oh, very close to a turnover. 15's going cross court. And misses, misses, in, misses in low. Estrella's rebounding, going all the way, and it's a miss. He gets his own rebound, though. And a foul on Medway, their fifth. Uh, I don't know if it's a shooting foul or not. Let's see. It's a hack. Yep, two, sh uh, two shots for Estrella. He missed his last two, so let's see if he can make right. two this time. And he's normally pretty good at the foul normally line. Normally pretty good, yeah. But it's been one of those nights so far. 43 seconds left in the half. There it is. If they can stop uh, Medway coming down now, uh, it would be a six-point ball game, which... They can make that up in the second half. Makes them both. See, PBD with a little pressure with Estrella up top. Trap, and they get out of it. 32 seconds left. Assad in the corner. Oh, looked like a travel, but he got away with it. Let's see if they get the steal. Nope. Medway hold, holds on. Assad in the corner for three. Nope, and it goes out of bounds. PBD ball, 17 seconds left. I think they'll that, hold for the last shot here. That, that, that was a break for the Tanners. Ball going out of Med, bounds. Med, Medway with a full court press. They got three guys deep, so they're gonna have to, <coughs> they're gonna have to help them out. No one's taking the ball out of bounds. Here comes Estrella, eventually. Estrella goes long to Lawrence. Lawrence brings it out. I think they'll hold for the last shot. 12 seconds. 
Oh, good defense by Medway. Oh, Irizarry short. Estrella tries to go up, no foul, doesn't like it. And that's the half. Medway 20, Peabody 14. So uh, we'll be right back with first half stats, second first, half action. Not much half. stats for the first half though. No, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get Mayor Betancourt up here to see what he has to say about the half. It's probably not much, but we'll see. Hi, my name is Aleko. I'm the owner of Galonero, a bar restaurante. It's a, it's a family restaurant. We have a huge menu. We sell a lot of pasta dishes. We have a chicken parm, chicken city broccoli. The first thing we're going to have is a pizza. You want to see how I make the pizza? The pizza we make here is uh, Italian style. We try to prepare everything. We make the heavy cream here. We make the marinara sauce every morning. Uh, we're going to show how we make a, a fusilli alla vodka, which is very famous here. So we put a chicken, bacon, this cook for two, three minutes. So we take vodka, put a little bit of marinara, and the heavy cream. The fusilli is almost done. Yeah. Come on down in Gallinero Pizzeria. You're going to love it, a food you can enjoy. Thank you. With us now is Mayor Ted Bentoncourt, along with Jeff Schmaze, helping us out tonight. Uh, we got the A1 team here, Mayor. <laughs> oh, I'm happy to be here, but it's been, uh, it was a rough half to watch. I think the boys got a, there's a lot more to go here, another whole half, but I, they got to play better than this. All right, uh, so far, uh, uh, Thad uh, seems to think that that height, they could go inside on them, but uh, they, they're not doing that very good on dribbling. Yeah, I mean, the defense has been pretty good. They only have 20 points. You know, I think they got to be a little more aggressive. But on offense, we're not hitting shots, and I feel like there's not much happening. Everybody's standing still, and, um, you know, I think, I think we'll see you better in the second half. It's the, the, we need more penetration, things like that, to open things up. Any idea what the, uh, the halftime speech might be if you were in there? Well, I think the, probably, you know, I think he's probably trying to be upbeat because I think the kids are starting to feel a little pressure. They're missing shots. They're missing some easy ones. So, you know, I would tell them to, you know, to relax, you know, try to keep them loose. But really, they got to they gotta move around more on offense. The defense has been pretty good. They're not getting, uh, you know, the rebounding, of course, they can work on that. But I think on offense, they got to move around more and try to create for each other. I saw a lot of turnovers through. I thought excessive dribbling, was that your assessment as well? Yeah, I think so, too. I think... Um, I think there was a lot of turnovers as they, you know, trying to drive. And, you know, that's something that I think nerves has something to do with it. I don't think this team is doing anything special on defense, just straight man. But you got to be strong with the ball. You can't give away possessions like that. Do you think there's any pressure with Peabody knowing that, you know, if they win tonight, they get in. If they don't win tonight, they got a couple tough road game, uh, home games with Beverly and Danvers. I do. I think that's probably on their minds quite a bit. I, I feel like they're a little tentative. They're really tight. Um, and, uh, you know, I think uh, that's why, you know, if I'm, if I'm the coach at halftime, I'm trying to keep it loose, you know, try to get them relaxed, you know, to try to loosen the pressure a little bit. Man, how about giving us an update? What's happening in Nettle Square? I see all that equipment by the monument. What's happening? Well, that's just some work. Um, National Grid is doing some work to the pipes, um, you know, in preparation for the work we're going to be doing downtown. So this is just a little preparation work, uh, you know, as we're going to be doing the downtown over. We're going to make sure we put all new pipe, all new infrastructure in and things. But, Lou, the sun is shining, the snow is melting. I'm a happy guy. Wow. Well, yeah. The temperature was over 50 over today. 50. I like days like this. I like days like this. So I like when the snow melts. I used to love the snow, not anymore. Yeah, but now our taxes will go down because we're, we're saving a lot of money on snow removal. Yeah, don't jinx us, Lou. Don't <laughs> jinx us. That's uh, I'm hoping so. But, you know, what would we pay about two and a half million last year? So it's going to take us a while to catch up to that. But so far, so good. Man, you're doing a great job, and everyone realizes that, too. Oh, well, thank you. I'm trying hard. It's not an easy job, but a lot of good people in this city, and I feel like we're making some good progress. Okay, thank you for joining us, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. Thank you, Joe. Okay. We're here with Amory Tobin, the sports editor of the PVD Weekly. What have you seen in the first half? Well, not too much. It looks like they're very flat, and obviously they have to make some adjustments in the second half. Um, Four-minute run there at the end of the second half, when the uh, first half, rather. No scoring. They don't seem to be playing a game of team ball tonight. They need to put, pick their heads up and pass the ball and maybe put a few kids in off that bench, see if they can get things sparked a little bit. Thank you, Emory. I'd like to thank PHE for bringing you this game tonight. And don't forget Gallinero Pizzeria. All right, let's see what happens here. We're about to start the second half. Uh, Medway up with a six-point lead. 
PBD starting the same starting five with Canelo, Lawrence, D'Amato, Estrella, and Irizarry. Medway's ball to start. Liam Reagan inbound. And it's a turnover. But Canelo's in trouble, but he gets out of it to, to Lawrence. Over to D'Amato. Mato's looking inside. Over to Canelo up top. Inside to Arizari. Arizari's going down low. Misses badly. Estrella the rebound. No good. Arizari again blocked. Estrella finally. Three chances that time up I'm on the board. You, they're having trouble getting the ball to go in, but they stuck with it. Medway swinging the ball. And it looks like another turnover for Medway. And it's staying here though. They give it to Medway. They give it to Medway. 18 seconds on the shot clock. Asad out deep. Lawrence all over him. Looks like he's playing man on Asad. Nice, nice tight coverage there. Looks like it might be a box and one. Medway working, working the shot. Oh, 12 got wide open out late. Sean Just beat Fenton. the shot clock. Yep, that was a, that was a tough hoop there for Peabody. Medway's up six again. Estrella in the wing up top, top to D'Amato. back to Canella inside to Irizarry. That looks like the uh, what they're wow, trying to do, it. and it's a foul on number eleven, Mike Natachi. It's their second foul. Lawrence inbound. Look, looking, 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 having trouble. Finds Estrella. Estrella goes up and it scores. Peabody yeah. down four, 6.30 left in the third period. Assad from deep hits a three. Assad's got 11 of their 25. Medway's with their biggest, well, no, it's not quite. They had an eight point lead, it's a seven point lead now. Lawrence being pressured up to Canelo. Canelo is driving and misses. Arizari had it for a moment, but loses it. And Peavy's getting beat down the floor as well. Looks like Medway Still lost it. Got a little bit of a break there. Pat Travers is coming in. Medway keeps moving the guys of, in and out. In and out. That, in guy, and that out. guy can coach. Uh, and they got the height and the Jay players Rogi. to do it. No, he knows what he's doing. He's, and he's pressing again. Arizari gets the ball from D'Amato, and D'Amato gets it back. D'Amato is going to pull up from the, and he misses. But He's just night. a little shot. Well, tough night so far. Liam Reagan goes the whole way. It's, now that's the biggest lead of the game at 9 at 27-18. Lawrence, that looks like he got fouled, but no call. There's oh, Ari. Hits. 27-20. Seven point lead, 5-17 left in the third quarter. Medway moving the ball to the outside on the perimeter. It, trap, nice spin move, but he misses. There's Ari has the rebound. Let's see what happens. It looks like he's going all the way. He get fouled on the outside. Foul on number 15, uh -huh. Liam Reagan. A little touch like that and they call a foul and underneath the basket he was getting clobbered and no foul. Lawrence looking inbound it, finds it in Rosario, looks like he got pushed and he lost it. Another turnover for Peabody. He should have fell forward. <laughs> yes. Anyway, moving the ball nicely outside. Dribble drive penetration, number 10 shoots and just misses, but 11 grabs the rebound. 
Jump ball. Nice Good. block. Ball will stay here. No, now they're pointing Peabody way, but it looks like it is Peabody ball. 33, Andrew Tiernan is in. And Assad is back in. So again, Medway, a lot of players in and out, keeping them fresh, Luke. Damato looks to find somebody. Up to Rosari, up top, to back, back to Damato. Damato's driving, he gets fouled. So that's the third team foul. I think it might be the fourth, Lou. I think they're one off. Third team foul, third foul on number three. Estrella puts it up, misses. Arizari gets the rebound. Knocked out of his hands. Lawrence looking. D'Amato in the corner. Misses. Been one of those nights, Luke. Assad dribbles. Ooh, he hits the guy in his head, but he stays with it. Oh, 15 misses, gets his own rebound, misses again, Estrella with a rebound. Estrella still has it, ooh, crosses him over, lays it up, and misses. Arizari's having trouble finishing. He lost it, and he's, you can tell he's a little frustrated tonight. Yeah, Luke. he's really rather frustrated now. We're halfway through the third, and PB has not made up any ground, they're down seven. Very good shot by Reagan, but he just didn't, couldn't finish. Tomato with a crossover, lays it up, and it's a little bit strong. Phoebe just cannot score it. Reagan is short. Tomato with a rebound. And he misses. It's the layup, Estrella looks like he's oh. looking to help ball. Medway's possession. Doherty and Tien are coming in. D'Amato and Canella out. Three twelve left in the third quarter. Twenty-seven to twenty. When Medway has steadily held on to that lead. Dribbling, Travers for three looks long. Estrella with a rebound. Estrella, oh, he passes it to Darty in the corner and a miss. Arizari fighting, scores. <laughs> PB's crowd trying to get into the game here. Asad, oh, late call, late call on Peabody. I'll reach on John Lawrence. It looks like it might be his third. I believe uh, they're about all for four in the foul line. That is correct, Lou. Let's see if it continues. Aside on the line for two. Oh for five. Warren and Regan back in and a revolving door of players. All right. And they're all equally well, good. And they finally hit one. finally hits one. Eight point lead, uh, six point lead. Teen with the ball, you know, pressured. Teen drives, and one. <laughs> Let's 
see if Christian can finish the three-point play. Christian's a senior. He missed it. Hassan drives. Oh, took another turnover there. Foul on T and a loose ball foul. Medway ball. Second team foul. Oh, nice, wow. nice, look, nice, nice little floater easy. by Warren. Leads back up to six. Rosari up high post. Sorry, back to Rosari. Oh, that off balance. In and out. Oh, Reagan. Look at travel. No call. There was Ari with the rebound. Over to over to Tian. 120 left. Up. Oh, double dribble by Tian. Another turnover. Kicked by Doherty. They'll get a new clock on that. Damano back in, replacing John Lawrence. Medway up six with a minute and a six and change. Assad, that's a Peabody play, but he missed. Doherty with a rebound. Tomato, look. T in for three. Short. Tomato with a rebound. 46 seconds left. Tomato drives. Up and no good. No luck for Tomato. Not tonight. tonight. Oh, Reagan running the floor. Well, looked like an offensive foul, wow. and it was. Nice play there by Jake Doherty. Oh. 35 seconds left in the half. But PB has not cut into that lead at all. Oh. Team got away with one there. Jose Rosari back to D'Amato. Long three is off. And Reagan on the floor, missed the layup. Darty's gotta be careful, this guy behind him. And he threw it away. And Coach Broton is unhappy. 9.9 .9 seconds left in the third quarter. They gotta bail out this nine seconds to see if they can stop him and have a six point lead. They just wanna stay in touch with him. Right. Big possession here for Medway. Assad with it, four seconds left. Three-pointer is off. And that's gonna end the third quarter with Medway up 30 to 24. Both teams scored 10 points that quarter. Boy, it's a real low scoring game. It is. A little better that quarter, but not, not a lot better. So I have Tomato with a, a game to two points, Ian with two points, Doherty with two points, Israel with four po uh, six points, uh, Estrella with eight points and uh, Danello with four points. Okay. Thank you, Lou. So, uh, real uh, low scoring. Yeah. The uh, thing here, the, the uh, 
Montana's only have two team fouls, and uh, Medway is going to be in foul trouble. They have five, so the Tanners have to drive, drive, drive to the basket. Exactly, and then once they get there, they're going to make them. Right. <laughs> so uh, probably the biggest eight minutes of the, of the, uh, the year for PV to come knowing what's at stake. I'd like to remind the viewers, game being brought to you by PBD Access Telecommunication on uh, Washington Street in PBD. And don't forget Gallinero Pizzeria, 978-531-0279, and they deliver the best pizza in town. PBD will have possession to start the fourth quarter. And again, the pressure is all over the place for, uh, oh, careful, that was a long pass there. Estrella wow. got it. A long, soft pass. Long, soft pass. Those are dangerous. Estrella at the top of the key. It's a pick set. Spin move. He got fouled going to the basket. He'll have two shots. Now he has to get back into his uh, shooting uh, range on the foul line. Natachi with three fouls, a 6-4 forward. First one is good. Estrella makes them both. Now a couple of stops. And missed the bunny. Natachi had a wide open layup and missed it. Take your time now, make sure of the points. Medway's getting good shots, they're just not making them. Estrella with a lot of shake and bake but and couldn't finish. 10 speeding down. Medway on the perimeter, there's Assad again. Over to Warren, over to Pettinger. Back to Warren, back to Assad for three. Long, D'Amato with a rebound. All right, Medway's not scoring a lot here. Lou's got, uh, PB's got a shot here. They just got to right. go on a little bit of a run here. They're, they're, they're two possessions away. D'Amato pulls up and hits. That's, That's his first field goal for, for the night, Lou. Right. Now it's a two point game. We need his hot hand. Getting into a 12 wide open long. Estrella fighting for it. He saves it. He's speeding across half court. Lays it up and in. And we're tied at 30. 6.15 left. I thought they'd be calling a timeout by now. I thought so. Well, Medway's getting good shots here. They're just not converting. Side is being challenged by Lawrence. Double team there, and it's a foul on Lawrence, I believe. That's his fourth. No, it's third. Third. correction, third. And the team only has three fouls, so they're yeah, in so good they're, shape that they're way. They're in good shape. Regan inbound, over to Warren. Back to Assad, Lawrence all over him. Warren. Shot is missed. Evie ball with a chance to go ahead. More substitutions in for Medway, Travers, and Condon are in for Pettinger and Warren. Take your time and get the basket. Yep. He had a little trouble inbounding it. Strauss finally got it. Back to, back to D'Amato. High screen. Oh, he goes, cuts through it. It throws up an air ball from eight feet. Medway with a chance to take the lead here. And they do on a basket by Liam Reagan. 
That first hoop of the third, fourth quarter, excuse me. Lawrence would be all over him, but no foul. Wow, that was that really, was close. I know. They're letting them play, which is all right, both sides. D'Amato looking inbound over to Doherty. Medway's tight coverage all night long, making things difficult for Peavy. And a lot of dribbling here. Arizari, I'm sorry, excuse me, Estrella had a layup opportunity, Peavy missed ball. it, but Medway couldn't control the rebound. Daniel's got another chance to tie it up. Lawrence looking inbound to Irizarry. Over to Estrella. The floater is off. Gets his own rebound. Wow. And up and good. Estrella's picking it up here in the fourth quarter. How many points does he have? He's got uh, six points. Six of, six of their eight. Yeah. D'Amato got the other two. Correct. I don't know when Peavy had the last had the lead, but they have an opportunity to take it here if he can convert the free throw. And he does. And Peabody calls a timeout. I wouldn't be surprised here to see a press loop. They yeah. often call him after a made free throw, and it I, has not worked all year. I mentioned that to a uh, coach in the interview, and I love that press when they press him. But the, and seeing that they're a tall team, yeah. they may not have the speed, but they show more speed than their size. Yeah, well, let's see. They, they've been burned by this a couple times this year, so let's see if this, uh, they change it up at all. So PB this is a big game, and we thought it would be a close game. Uh, PBD losing by six points uh, when they played at Medway, and now uh, the home court should be some advantage, but... Since fellows like D'Amato, the ball's not going in for him. Right. Peabody's outscored Medway 9-2 in this period so far. Peabody has stopped that outside shot, though. I mean, uh, he, he, they only got the two points from the outside. Right. Teen in the game and Gustin in the game. These are two very good uh, speed defenders. Let's see if they can get if they can force a turnover. There's the trap, and they got it. They got it over. And there's a steal by Estrella. Estrella's going to the hoop, lays it up and misses. And a foul on Arizari. A loose ball foul. So that'd be the fourth team foul. Peavy's going to stay in the pressure. There's Ari Deep. I was going to say, Medway had six guys on that floor. No one's guarding the inbounder. Oh, they went up high with their height. That helped there. Tian tried it. Oh, might be a foul. There's Ari now is four. Four fouls. Four though. fouls. Got to be careful. Tian and Gustin are out. Yeah, Doherty and Tian got a breather. Warren drives, pulls up, and scores. Medway back up one. D'Amato's got the ball, dribbling in deep to Irizarry, double teams and a steal. Oh, PB holds on to it somehow. D'Amato pulls up, really, very well contested shot there. Good defense by Medway. PB playing a little desperately down one. Peab oh, they missed, but an offensive rebound. And another miss, and Irizarry with a rebound. PBD down one, 338 left. Lawrence to Irizarry, drives, and a foul is called. Medway is over the limit. 
Moses will be shooting too now. Tied again. Teen and Gustin in, replacing Lawrence and D'Amato. Actually, Darty and, and D'Amato, excuse me. So watch the press yeah, here on the Mink. They, they're the quick guards. 331 left in the ball game. There's already makes them both, but the DVD up oh, I vote one. The trap, they got out of it. And it looks like an easy hoop and one. But a good foul. Foul, foul by Lawrence is fourth. And here comes Doherty and D'Amato again in for Tian and Gustin. It's an offense for defense switch. A miss by Natachi. Midway has struggled at the line tonight. Yeah, they've only made one foul shot. And it's tied. Tie ball game, 35-35, 3.23 left. Oh, looked like a steal, but they called a late foul. It'll be a one-on-one -on -one situation. Yep. That's his second. Nine, 19 fouls. The next foul will give them two shots every time. Estrella has a chance to put Peabody up ahead by two with 3.20 left. Estrella misses. Big, big miss there. Saw drives, shot is no good. Rebound Medway, in and out. Darty fights for the rebound. D'Amato, three minutes left, tie ball game here. Very similar to the first game, Lou, that he's two teams played. Again, a lot of dribbling here. D'Amato drives and misses. Erizari grabs it, misses. And Medway rips it away. Saad against Lawrence. Fake out oh, to steal. Estrella has it. And it's another steal. That's what's happened all night, Lou. One dribble too much. One dribble too many. Medway with a two point lead. Broughton not going to the bench. D'Amato's going to pull up for three. Looks long. But it goes off the backboard. I don't think he thought he was going to do that, but it, he just happened to get the bounce. He calls a quick timeout with 2.09 left. I think they're calling that a two. Wow. Let's see if they put another point up there. I thought the official went over there. There goes our famous cheerleaders right down the middle of the court. Well, I guess they're not changing it. We'll change that to a two. 37 37. <laughs> All right, let's see what type of defense Peabody puts in. Usually Broad puts something in when he calls a timeout. Some type of trap here. 
Looks like a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. The weak side wide open. 12 missed it. Oh, Keevy got the deflection. A little bit fortunate there. Kamada with the ball. Lars up top, looking for Estrella on the wing. D'Amato, oh, there's a late wow. foul. And Coach Jay Roji is unhappy with that call. Medway with two, their 10th foul. D'Amato will be shooting two here. And Assad has four fouls. He's been their top scorer tonight, so that could help Evie as well. D'Amato hits the first. Well, least he <laughs> not want to jinx him, but he's not off on his foul shooting. He's got four for four. Four for four. A little bit of a trap. Oh, and it's a turnover. Keep it up two with the ball, 130 left. Now take your time, make sure of the two. Drive to the basket, get fouled. D'Amato for three from the corner. Missed. Pretty good look, but he couldn't quite figure, couldn't make, couldn't make it. Assad for three. It's in. Ooh. Medway with a one-point lead. 108 left. Very similar to what we had the first night when it was 44-30. It's 40-39 right now. One. Under a minute left. D'Amato on the wing. Back to Estrella up top, 12 seconds on the shot clock. We dribbles, late call, late call. Medway does not like it, 49 seconds left. Estrella, the chance to put DVD ahead, he's a clutch. He needs both of them. <laughs> First one is good. Make them both. See what Medway can do, down one. Around the rim and in. Oh boy. He's, he's made the last two threes. Medway's up two with 30 seconds left. And now both of them were in and out. In and out. D'Amato driving. Pulls up. Short. bb has got a foul here. Lawrence with a foul. 17 seconds left. It's one and one for, for Medway. Two free throws here could... Uh, a kicker, deal. yeah. But they haven't been uh, shooting well from the foul line at all. John Lawrence is fouled out. They're putting the freshman Chris Canella in, it looks like. Coach Bowden taking his time because he has X numbers of seconds to get the yep. substitute in when someone fouls out. Jake Warren at the line for two. A one on one situation. One on one situation, excuse me, correct. It's getting loud here in Peabody. Whoa! Boy, Medway's going to like these baskets. That's three Last shots. Last three. Last three have gone around the rim and in. Now they're calling a timeout. Medway calls it. This is really an important foul shot. Yes. This could be the ball game right it here. It could be the ball game.
the uh, score sheets won't realize how low scoring game this was, but we've had some very poor scoring in the in, in different quarters. Absolutely low. Just it's been one of those nights. shot of the night right now by Warren and he makes it it's a two possession game with right. 17 seconds left oh oh there's a turnover and almost that's going to be seconds a left game. almost a turnover Vasily Stephanopoulos coming into the game for the first time with eight seconds left. Presumably yeah, to shoot a three. Outside shooters. So now they got three of them in there. Yep. They need a foul from the three-point land, and the ball goes in. <laughs> Right, the hoop is stealing a, a score. It's going to be tough. Well, no, get a three-point shot and get fouled while shooting. Yes. It. Well, <laughs> if you're if you're if you're Medway, you let you let them uh, you let them score there. You don't want to foul them. To inbound, eight seconds left. Damato long three is off. Medway, that'll do it. Medway wins, 45, 45 41. to 41. We have the final uh, wrap up here. So uh, for PBD, D'Amato had seven points, Tian two, Doherty two, Israel ten, uh, Janela four, and the high scorer, uh, Junior Estrella with 17. For, for Medway, Nick Assad had 20, Jake Warren had eight, Mike Nadachi four, Liam Reagan five, and Andrew Tierney four. Final score again. Medway 45, Peabody 41. Okay, Lucis Osmo, Jeff Schmaze, thank you for joining me. Thank you, helping Luke. me out. You're welcome. And uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you for watching, and good evening. Bye-bye. Hi, my name is Aleko. I'm the owner of Galonero, a bar restaurant. It's a, it's a family restaurant. We have a huge menu. We sell a lot of pasta dishes. We have a chicken parm, chicken city broccoli. The first thing we're gonna have is a pizza. You want to see how I make the pizza? The pizza we make here is a Italian style. We try to prepare everything. We make the heavy cream here. We make the marinara sauce every morning. Uh, we're gonna show how we make a, a fusilli alla vodka, which is very famous here. So we put a chicken, bacon, this cook for two, three minutes. So we take the vodka, put a little bit of marinara, and the heavy cream. The facility is almost done. Yeah. Come on down in Gallinero Pizzeria. You're going to love it, a food you can enjoy. Thank you.